so hi guys uh, we have given a question which is called as uh, jump game it's taken from lead code itself so we have given an array of numbers and each index represent a value uh, that value means we can go uh, maximum that uh, value from that distance for example here I have taken the test case from lead code itself if I am here at index 0 uh, and I found that uh, value is 2 so maximum I can go from here is 2 distance from here and I will reach here and at index 2 uh, I have a value 1 so I can maximum go 1 here so I will go here and at the index I found a 1 again and I will go here so as soon as I reach the uh, array length minus 1 uh, is actually my last index of the array uh, I will return a true that I can reach uh, the end of the array so this example for true and we have given another example let's take that into consider as well 104 as well 0 1 2 3 4 uh, marker indexing so I am initially here and I found there's a value written here is 3 so I can go 1 I can go 2 I can go what 3 but as soon as I uh, get here I found a 0 so I avoid this path I don't want to go this path because from 0 I cannot go anywhere now nah. so we have to avoid this path so uh, we can go maximum 3 but we can uh, also go between from uh, 1 to 3 so I will I will not use the third step path I will try uh, path number 1 which actually is 1 so from here I can go only 1 which is actually leading me up to 0 only so I will not use that part also and from 2 uh, I will check that if I can go from here I can go maximum 2 I can go 1 and I can go 2 so we can see again we are reaching at 0 from here we cannot go anywhere so we will return a false that we cannot cross the uh, we cannot get to our target which is length of that array so we got a basic understanding so how do we proceed this question is a uh, task so suppose uh, I'm taking this example itself one one four and every index represent a value that maximum where we can go so uh, we initially at zeroth index we have what uh, we have two as our uh, value so we can go either plus one like from here to here and plus two like here to here so if I go a plus one where we will reach we will reach at index one so that's indexing huh that's indexing so if I take a uh, maximum two of path I will just do an indexing of two okay uh, Rickardson goes like this huh left uh, mid and right um, taking the left part first so at one we have a three so we have a three possible uh, path to get to the end so from here is one is two and it's a three from if we take a one from uh, indexing one we will reach to a two and uh, if we take a two path we will reach to over three and if we take a three path uh, we will reach to over four directly yes four uh, actually four is our target huh? so we need to reach here so, uh, as you can see we can reach to our array index we return a true from here we return a true from here so ultimately this will return this to true and it's uh, true there will be a furthermore cause but I am considering only this because we need an answer of true uh, that's for the um, first example itself let's uh, 
take this approach into our uh, second one example that returns a false in the test case itself so 3 2 1 0 and a 4 and mark this indexing 0 1 2 and 3 and a 4 at 0 uh, I have 3 uh, calls for 1 and 2 and 3 if I take a 1 I will use 2 a 1 if I take a 2 I will use the 2 and 3 and 3 so at one index I have two calls at the two index I have only one call at third index I have a zero call I cannot use from here so I will return a false from here return a false from here so we cannot go from here and two I can go to three and it's also we can go from here I return a false from one I can go to and two and three and that's return of false. So ultimately, I will return uh, false from everywhere, and this will return also a false. So that's a recursive approach. Uh, we have seen uh, so many overlapping sub problems. Like here, we are calculating two, two, three, three here itself. So if three goes out of very number uh, in size, number of calls will be a Greater and there will include a overlapping sub problems at many levels. So we need to take into consideration and implement a DP for that. But recursive approach is very important for this question to get the understanding of that. So we create a function public boolean, uh, call it a jump, and it will take a nums array and int ind which stand for indexing and from here i will return jump i will uh, pass nums and i will pass index zero because we need to start from a zero or we can start from zero that's the point to us if ind equals to equals to nums dot length minus one what that means it means we have reached to the end so we need to return a true from here after that i need to make some calls i equals to one because uh, we are making number of calls starting from one if the index contains two so we are starting from one and then two so we start from one and we go till nums of ind which uh, uh, which is that uh, at what index what is the value of maximum numbers we can go now so that's it is so i plus plus here i will check if jump uh, pass my recursion to nums plus ind so if that's true it will return me a true and i will ultimately return a true if that does not return me true i'll return a false from here uh, so let's try to run it and try to get uh, what we get the possibility of that so it's getting me a false what 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 what, what I have done wrong uh, ha, 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 ha. expected true I have written a false uh, okay I have I have these two nums and uh, because I'm starting from oneself. Syntax mistakes happens, guys. Uh, so it probably uh, get me a TLE because of overlapping sub problem. So uh, second part is we need to implement a DP for that. So DP you can implement a, a memoization part itself, which is considered to be very easy so we have to create a boolean array which is store our answer a boolean dp is equal to new boolean new boolean of size will be num sort length plus one because we need to store the answer for uh, last index so we have to get uh, one more for that so i have to pass that dp here and also need to pass that boolean dp here boolean dp here and check 
if dp of i and d if dp of i and d exist return that is something that inside now uh, with all true we need to return uh, dp of i and d itself so before making this uh, we can say that uh, dp of i and d plus i equals to jump nums i plus i and d comma dp and check if dp of i and d plus 1 exists or not i and d plus 1 so if n d plus i exists or not if that exists we simply return that if you of i n d plus one uh, that's it that's our memorization part let's try to run it and check for compilation errors and it's running let's try to submit it and check if it's submitted or not uh, so you can see it's again giving us a DLE because it's, it's not optimized that well so what we can do there is a another approach exists for that uh, to make it into a very optimized time complexity uh, which tends to be big of n and that is approach is 3d approach uh, let's go to the screen. We will try to learn what the greedy approach is. So I am here. This is my array and this is my indexing mark at 0, 1, 2, 3, and a 4. So my uh, main goal is to reach here. Here, uh, my main goal is to reach here. From here, I need to reach here. But what if we are here and we check if I can reach here or not. If I reach here, I will shift my pointer from here to here. And I will check for this guy. This guy can reach here to here. If this guy can reach to here, means it will uh, ultimately can reach here. So it's fulfilling our criteria. If this can reach here, I will move that here and we will do that continuously uh, let me show a better uh, clear example of that two one 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 four so my end goal is to reach here i mark it as x and my starting point is here so in recursion i am checking for uh, every possible uh, chances of reaching here like one two and from here one two and three and from here one and from here one i am checking every possible uh, causes for that and that's causing a lot of uh, time complexity that we are getting a dle every time we are uh, even we have optimized that using a dp but we are getting a dle again so we need to uh, improve our time complexity to big of n to get the results so right now we are here and we need to go from here to uh, here actually now so there's a big problem here uh, it's actually a bigger leap than that now. Uh, right now we need a shorter problem what is the sh shorter problem for that uh, that could be if i am here i will check if i can go from here to here or not Yes, I can go. It's one. I can go from here to here. That means uh, I can go here. So that means I will remove that. And now my new goal is this part itself. And my I uh, and my start point will be here. I will check. I can go here to here. It will say yes. You can go from here to here. So I will move my thing from here to here and this thing from here to here it's not erasing this manually erase it and here is my goal 
I can reach from here to here. Yes, you can reach here. So I will move that to my origin point and check if I can reach from here to here or not. Yes, you can reach here to here. So ultimately, I will check if my uh, goal is reached to our uh, original starting point. If that's the case, that means we can reach to our uh, goal from starting to end you go from here to here or here to here it's all the same okay so we need to implement that approach into our uh, question itself so i will erase that and let me uh, write it for you but firstly i have to get rid of that so what we have discussed our int goal should be uh, nums dot length minus one we create a loop from i equals to nums dot length minus two just before our goal i should be greater than equals to zero i should be uh, decrease every time for every iteration and there we will check if our i plus uh, nums of i is greater than or equals to our goal or not if it's equal we need to shift our goal to our i we shift our goal to our i and we do more certain task and last all the iteration happen done so we check if goal equals equals to zero or not and if it's yes we return a we return a true else return a false but uh, we don't need to write else we we'll take care of itself so try to run it and see if that works or not so we try to submit that and check for yes guys you can see uh, this only method which uh, runs and accepts a lead code uh, as far as I guess and I checked uh, for, my, for myself uh, with this method is known as greedy method uh, so in this video we have discussed three approaches first is recursive to understand the problem better and second is optimization of recursive approach using dp and third is greedy approach which actually satisfies the time constraint given by the problem to us so we have submitted that and thanks for watching